Hey everybody, just a quick update. Um, I've been doing a little experimentation lately. Sorry, I haven't produced any tutorials lately. I will be getting around to that eventually, hopefully. Um, uh, just been experimenting with creating a tile class instead of the way I'd been doing it before. Uh, with the class, I hope to be able to actually parameterize and you know give each tile its own properties. Um, I thought it would be interesting to experiment with that. Uh, maybe add bounding boxes to each tile for enhanced collision detection on the terrain. Things like that. Just be kind of fun if it works. Another thing I've been messing around with is the dreaded menu system that has been a pain. Um, I don't know, you know, just based on the complexity, I don't know if I'll actually be able to do a tutorial, but I can release my source code when it's done. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. And lastly, I've monkeyed around with changing resolution, something that uh, some people have run into is slowness. Um, I think what happens is that a lot of people try to compensate for the resolution by expanding the form size and then drawing farther out into the form, which causes uh, some pretty nasty lagginess. Um, if you think about it, the old Nintendo games were only like 256 by uh, 240 resolution, which is really small in terms of a modern monitor. You're looking at a little tiny box. Um, when you know the reason they were so big is because those old television sets you used to play them on were super low resolution. So what I'm trying to do is actually change my resolution, uh, bump it way down and that will actually increase the size of your form on the screen. And I think that's what most games do anyway. Uh, you know, if you're playing any popular games, most of them aren't running in your monitor's native resolution. So um, by scaling that resolution down, it actually, you know, increases the size of your form on the screen. And that works pretty good, and it also increases your performance. So something to keep in mind. Uh, show you what I've got so far on this. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see the resolution change because I think that uh, Cam Studio will try to adapt. I'm going to run it twice here. Once in its small mode so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm saying. If I say, you know, don't reduce the resolution, here's what it draws. Nice little tiny window. It's kind of what we expect. This is a, I call it tiny world because I'm essentially using 16 by 16 tiles, which is really small, it's like a little Game Boy or something. Um, actually, the old Game Boys, I think, and the old Nintendos used 8 by 8 tiles, which are really tiny. A lot of you are using probably 32 by 32 and higher tiles, um, trying to compensate for the screen size. That's not necessarily recommended. Um, I'll see if this will actually show you what I see when I change the resolution. If I hit yes screen, whoop, I don't know if you could hear me while it was doing that. Um, wow, my annotation window here got really big. And my uh, little form here is actually pretty good size now. Um, what looks more like a Nintendo game or something than a little tiny Game Boy screen. So that's essentially what I have here so far. And oh, the menus, if I press my I button, it brings up my little menu screen. Um, I've got it to where I can cycle through the menu. Um, naturally, you're going to want sub menus, and I'm not going to be using nasty little blue and red boxes. Uh, I'd be glitzing those up after I. Um, actually manage to get a functional menu system. So uh, I guess that's it for now. I will keep you informed of any progress that I make here 
and uh, I'll try to get some more tutorials out. Let me know what you guys would like to like me to focus on tutorial wise. I know some of you had actually mentioned menus and much as I would love to get that out to you really fast, it's a little bit more complex than I expected. So um, in time, I shall do my best to get that out for you. I will catch you later. Take care.